If you're not happy with the music that's being broadcast, let us know. That's what we're here for. Uh, we not know. W e n o t n o on on Twitter. Yes, and uh, we are we are getting ready for bet. Is the uh, um uh, that's our next latest, project. Uh, project. Our next project. Focusing on the project after that is the gadget show. I don't know what the next project is. Well, well, well if we keep those two going, because I don't, I'm like the schools, they sort of realise they're in the entertainment business. The don't schools they? irritate me, but they they go. irritate you. Yes. Well, to, just with great care, John, just explain what you possibly could find irritating about schools. Schools and technology. Hmm. Well, iPhones. And yes. I think. I think. If. <laughs> If if the student insists on using an iPhone for educational purposes, yeah, I think they should be allowed to do so. I don't see the point in 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 teachers in teachers um comp, com, uh, taking away students' iPhones. What about if they lose them? That means they would have to uh, spend well, out six hundred and ninety-four pounds that, on that, every <laughs> single, on every single child. No, are you telling me that? No, I think you're an unusual. This is just after a very a very wonderful Christmas for you. You happen to have a, a, a rather expensive iPhone that's working very well. I must yes, say. Yes, I mean it's. But only I, that. you're not telling me that 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 in the typical school, each and every child has a six hundred pound mobile device, which the s- teachers are then confiscating. Possibly. Do um, you think that's possible? I do think it's quite possible. Oh. And if you don't agree with me, you're more you're more you're more bonkers than I first realized. <laughs> um, well, um, that's an extraordinary uh, thing to claim. It's not. I'll explain in a minute. Um, uh, anyway, if if you all want to know why my iPhone was six hundred and ninety-four pound, the reason is because I didn't get it out on a contract. I bought the or I got the iPhone outright. So and. If you all want to know why I decided against the contract, was it was simply because I hate having contracts. I hate being tied into things, and I and you, I always feel a bit responsible when I when I when when I when I'm on a when I'm on a eight um eighteen month two year slash contract thingy that I sign and you're tied in to, so that's why I like to buy my phone outright because. At least you know you actually own the device. Well, that's that's the point of view. It's just the way I like to do it. And at the moment, I haven't got my own household, and I don't need to worry about many other things in life, so I can do it. Yes. But then, but but but, but, but you you're a slightly unusual person. I I just I just like to hang on to the idea that the the gadget show is going to be a wonderful event because the entire audience are already convinced about their gadgets. They are not going to give free gadgets away. They're not going to give anything away. Mind you, we, but, c- we, but, c- but, we, we can try our luck. Well, well we could ask, but we, yeah, we, well, we basically want a studio. We will have got the raffle well organised by then. If we sell, let's say, 200 tickets at are you actually pounds co- each, Are you actually convinced we are going to get anywhere with this raffle? Well, I think what we'll do, we'll go to bet... And we won't launch the raffle till after bet. And during bet, we'll just ask around as to what a studio. Bet's in, ra- bet is in January, isn't it? Is yeah, it? the this, end of January. This month. Wow. The end of January. And there are people there. There's, there's, there used to be a thing called Bet Radio, and I think it's now called Toshiba Radio because Toshiba are sponsoring it. We should say there are other computer manufacturers. There are other mobile phones. We just happened to mention Apple and Toshiba. Uh, yes, there just are. Because, but, but I, I am an Apple fan, so. Yes, no. Apple won't be there. Apple has, have so many fans; they are so wonderful. They don't have to bother with trade shows, <laughs> generally <laughs> speaking. If they condescend to make an announcement, obviously everybody is immediately fascinated. Well, you think? Yeah. So anyway, um, there may be some googling at at Bet. We believe. Well, so they I might want, mention want, it and other operating systems. I want to Google. Mm. Is Google going to be at Bet? I would think they might go there, yeah. I mean, although... Well, well, I want to have a chat with them. You want to talk to them? Yes. You want to ask the question whether they might one day compare in some small way? Yes. And uh, I heard on the grapevine that Apple, that Google did actually want to work with Apple. Well, uh, but that, why not? Everybody wants to work with Apple. Yes. Everybody's yeah. very nice. Even I want to work with Apple. You do? Yes. So... Well, in fact, if 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 um this but, idea of a studio caught on, but Apple's not going to work with me. 
Well, they might do. But, I mean, maybe the studio is up in the cloud somewhere, and you only have to give them their credit card details, and it will appear on your device. Possibly. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, an FM studio, it's a bit complicated, isn't it? FM but studio is becoming more and more old hat. You think? I shall just mention, this is Phonic FM 106.8, or www.phonic.fm. Yes. Um, and we, we will keep that going, I think. My prediction is... At least for this year, FM will continue. Yes, and William, mm. while we're on the subject, would mm. you like to tell everybody about your recent up and uh, your recent development in your life? Well, yeah, it's, it's slightly relevant because I'm I'm going to be spending. I think it's extremely relevant. Well, I'm going to be spending more time in Kendall, oh. <laughs> which is which is a little way away from Devon, <laughs> but in other ways, it's very close. It's <laughs> sort of similar. <laughs> so that's why some of some some of my contributions will might be pre-recorded or repeats, yeah, possibly. Right. But also, I I I do think that um, Kendall hasn't got an FM, a like community FM signal, as far as I know, and maybe it'll just be my, all social media. I do I do think um, the tre- the trend is going going that way. But if if you do have an FM signal, as we do. And um, it reaches a, a, a closely defined area, such as Exeter. I, I, I think that's good. I might... Uh, you see, if, you, if you're if you in Kendall one Tuesday, who knows, I might well come up to join you. Well, yeah, we'll phone in. Do you have... Have you found we'll have to a, have somebody here have you found in the a, studio to take the call. Have you found a and b in Kendall yet? Well, I'm sure there is one. Find me a decent one and I'll okay. come up. You will. Okay. That's good. Yeah, that'll work. That's, that's def- that'll you, definitely that's, work. That's if your house isn't sorted out. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. All right. Well, look, I'm going to play. A, I'm going to play a chat now. I'm going to go back to my CD player while you while you sort out the phone well, I've, again. I've played about. You have. You've done very well. But tricks. find find some more in a, in a little bit. Um, but going back to the CD players, this is um, Womack and Womack Secret Star. <laughs> 